Hello, today I show you how to use Paint's Photoshop action and here is some of the results that you can make with this action. Ok, here is original photo, then you need to paint the area where you want to focus and here is the result. The next example, it's original photo, the area layer and the result. And also a few examples. Uh, this example shows how the action works on full image area. Also full image area. And also this example with original colors. Ok, let's go to the Photoshop and please note uh, that the minimum required version uh, for this section is Photoshop CS6, also this section works good in Photoshop CC, Photoshop CC 2015 15.5, 2017 and 2018. And please note that the oil paint filter must be available on your computer. So, just open your Photoshop, go to the filter, stylize, and you can see that oil paint filter is available. So, we can use the oil paint filter. In some versions, Photoshop contains oil paint filter in this section. So, before you use this section, Please make sure that the oil paint filter is available on your computer. If it's not, you can find the txt help file, uh, which was included into the download folder. And you can see few recommendations and few solutions if the oil paint filter is not available on your computer. In case when the oil paint filter is not available, the oil paint filter is grayed out. So I highly recommend to read this information because uh, in some cases only update of the drivers of your graphic card uh, can fix the problem. Okay, you need to do few steps. First, please make sure that you use the English version of Photoshop and if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. The next uh, step, go to the image mode and please check the RGB color and 8-bit channel. And the last step, uh, go to the panel options and check the add copy to copy less and groups. Ok, that's all. Now, how to use action. First, open your image. And one more important thing, your photo need to have the background view. So, if your photo has this view, it's a layer view, just select this layer and go to the layer, new, background from layer. Now it's okay. Also, the important recommendation uh, for this action is uh, to use good quality pictures. Actually, you can use uh, photos uh, with a resolution between 2000 and uh, 4000 pixels. And if you use a photo with too small or too big resolution, just open your photo and go to the image, image size. And just change width or height value and click OK. So, what we're gonna do, 
the next. After opening the photo, you need to open the brushes file. For that, go to the Edit, Presets, Preset Manager. In Preset tab, select Brushes, click Load, then go to your Download folder and just open Paint's Brushes file. Okay, click Done. Next step, open the Patterns file. For that, go to the Edit, Presets, Preset Manager. But now in Preset tab, select Patterns, click Load. Uh, go to the download folder again and just open paints patterns file okay click done the next step open the action file for that go to the window actions click on the menu icon at the right go to the load actions and open your download folder again and then open the action file folder you can see two folders inside uh, this folder contains different versions of Action uh, for different versions of Photoshop. It's a folder for CS6 or CC and the folder for CC 20, 15.5, 2017 and 2018. I use the latest Photoshop 2018, so I'll open this folder. And just open the Paints Photoshop action file. Okay, now you can see this action in the actions list. The next step, you need to create a new layer. Please give the name to this layer. It's area name. Uh, and please don't use the caps lock. And now you need to paint the area where you want to focus. You can paint only the face area or you can paint the uh, model area and also you can paint full image space for this photo i'm gonna paint the model area and uh, you can use brush tool you can use quick selection tool or magic van tool and of course you can use some of lesser tools Okay, let's make the quick selection using the polygonal lesser tool. Also, if you use the brush tool, you can use uh, the hot round or soft round brush. It's uh, not matter what type of brush do you use. Okay, it's just a quick selection. The selection is done. And now we need to fill this selection. I'm gonna use the paint bucket tool. We can use any colors, I like red. Okay, the area is done. Don't forget to deselect this selection. Okay, and now open the Actions panel if you close it. For that, go to the Window, Actions. Now find the Paints Photoshop action in the Actions list. Open the folder with Section. Open the Action and don't forget to select the Action to make the play button active. So now you need to click play, but before you will click play, please select the brush tool and make sure that the opacity, voila and flow voila are 100% and also make sure that the normal mode is selected. So click play. Now wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions and speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. And a little scroll at this step. Okay, the action finished work. And now you can edit the final composition. Uh, but before this, I want to show you how to close all folders. Because now you can see that all folders inside the main folders are open it. 
So to close all folders, uh, if you're on PC, click and hold Control plus Alt case combination. If you're on Mac, click and hold Options key and just open and close the first main folder. And now you can see that all folders inside the main folders are closed. So let's start to edit the final composition. The final composition contains seven folders and one quick black and white effect. It's uh, background elements, your object elements, additional elements, color changing tool, eight color options, quick black and white effect, 10 color effects and color and contour settings of all image. So let's start from background elements. This folder contains the background color tool. You can easily change the color of background. I like this color. The next layer, it's show your original background layer. You can make visible if you need to show your original background. The next tool, it's shadow gradient for background. Make double click to move this shadow. You can also use this shadow gradient with original background. Also this folder contains the light gradient for background. Double click to move. And also you can scale this light gradient Hue and saturation of background. And brightness and contrast of your background. Okay, the next folder, it's your object elements folder. This folder contains your object, highlights and shadows of paints, and additional color drops. Let's start from your object folder. This uh, folder contains the main paint area. You can make a double click to edit. Let's close all folders inside this smart object. For that use Ctrl plus Alt case combination. Okay. You can see the folder with uh, dark shades, medium shades and light shades. Actually, I don't recommend to edit uh, any of shades folders, but you can use uh, the color blots folder and color drops folder. These uh, folders contains the color drops and color blots. If you change something into this uh, file, this smart object, and save it, you can see the changes inside your composition. So let me show you how this works. For example, you want to erase uh, some of color blots, uh, just select the layer mask of color blots, select brush tool with black color, 
the brush tool with a soft round brush was already selected by default. Select layer mask, select brush tool with black color and paint where you want to erase color blots. Also, let's erase the color drops in this place and close this document with saving, of course. And now you can see that the color drops and color blots is invisible, but the highlights is still visible. To fix it, you can manually select the mask of the Highlights and Shadows folder. You can select the brush tool with black color and paint where you want to erase the Highlights and Shadows. But I want to show you a very quick way for that you need to select the main paint area click and hold ctrl k and click again on the main paint area icon you can see that we made the selection and then just select the mask of the highlights and shadows delete this mask and create a new mask. So now you can see that highlights and shadows of paints is also invisible in this uh, part of image. So let's get back into main paint area, smart object. And let's make visible the color drops and color blots again. For that select the brush tool, but now with white color and paint where you want to make visible the color drops and color blots. Please note that you need to paint only on layer mask, not on the layer. So firstly select the layer mask and paint where you want to make visible the color blots. Okay, close this document and of course save. It's very important. Okay, now you can see that the color blots and drops are visible but the highlights and shadow of uh, these color drops and blots are invisible. So let's change the mask of this folder again. Just click and hold Ctrl K. Click on the main paint area to make the selection. Then select the mask of the highlights and shadows of paints folder delete this mask and create new mask okay okay so the next uh, tool is brightness and contrast tool and hue and saturation this hue and saturation tool is uh, one of the ways how to change the colors of the paints. Also, you can add original colors.
Let's go to the next folder. It's highlights and shadow of paints. This folder contains few layers with highlights and few layers with shadows. You can change the opacity of these layers to adjust the highlights. Same with shadows. Next folder it's additional color drops. Actually it's a very small drops. You can erase these drops using one of these two masks and using the brush tool with black color white color to make visible also you can adjust the hue and saturation and the brightness and contrast of the additional color drops. Okay, the next folder it's additional elements. And this folder contains the contrast layer. This uh, layer adds more contrast from the original object. You can adjust the brightness and contrast of this layer. And also you can change the opacity of this layer to adjust the contrast of your composition. Also this folder contains the shadow frame. You can change the opacity of this shadow frame. Okay, and the next uh, two folders, it's uh, two ways how to easy change the colors of your composition. So the first color changing tool, uh, the image was divided on the six parts and you can adjust the hue and saturation of each part it's very easy And if I hide this color changing tool, you can see the difference. Looks nice. And the second way how to easily change the colors of your uh, composition the eight color options. Uh, using this tool you can change the colors of your paints. Using this tool you can change the colors of the paints by one click of your mouse. Let me show you these options.
also you can combine these options You can also combine these eight color options with color changing tool. And you can combine these color options with hue and saturation of main paint area tool. So using these combinations, uh, you can create unlimited number of color variations. It's very nice, I think. And very important note, if you I use one of these color options or if you use the color changing tool you can get the problem if you previously made some changes in the main paint area smart object for example let's uh, hide the color blots and color drops. Let's save this result. Also, don't forget to change the mask of the height, lights, and shadows folder. Okay, and now the mask is changed, the smart object is changed also, but the color drops is still visible. So how to fix it? You just need to change the mask of the color changing tool or if you use the eight color options, you need to change the mask of eight color options folder. So let's change the mask, make the selection from the main object area. and select the mask of the color changing tool, delete this mask and create new mask. So now it's okay, looks nice. Let's go to the next tool it's a quick black and white effect. Very nice tool, looks nice with some images. Next folder it's 10 color FX. This folder contains 10 color FX, which you can combine also. You can change the opacity. And the last folder, it's color and contour settings of all image. This folder contains the gradient for all image. You can change the colors of this gradient. Just click on the gradient and Click on the first color, change this color, and you can change the second color also. You can scale this gradient. Also, you can change the hue saturation of all image. You can add the photo filter to all image 
to change the photo filter make double click and just select the photo filter from list. You can change the density of this photo filter. Also you can add the black and white effect. You can add the color tone to all image. And you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. So that's done. Now you need just save. Here is difference. Thanks for watching and good luck.